the planet is undergoing a significant deal of change. There is a self-order kiosk at McDonald's, visit Walmart on your own, and look around for groceries. The technology to let cars drive themselves is getting better every day. Future robots are already in existence. These robots are real, this isn't a hoax. More change will occur in the next 10 years than in the previous 50. Additionally, there is a rumor that the Boston Dynamics robots will displace the military. As a Massachusetts Institute of Technology spin-off, Boston Dynamics is an American engineering and robotics design firm that was established in 1992. Big Dog, Spot, Atlas, and Handle are just a few of the dynamic, highly mobile robots that Boston Dynamics is working on. The first Boston Dynamics robot to be made commercially available Spot did so in 2019. Boston Dynamics has declared its intention to commercialize other robots as well, including Handle. Several armed forces are testing quadrupedal robots to carry equipment in addition to semi-autonomous and remote-controlled weaponry systems. But should we be concerned about attempts to equip deadly weapons on dog-like robots? With AI Evolves, let's investigate the capabilities of quadrupedal systems as they exist today. Robots from body service are used in a variety of combat situations with the primary goal of evacuating individuals from danger. This talent can provide advantages from a tactical and strategic standpoint. Although most people do not think of drones, uncrewed ground vehicles UGVs, and even guided missiles as robots with weapons, they are. Put four legs on a machine and everything will be completely different. In October, Roy Chan. Deputy Chief of Land Systems at the Defense Science and Technology Agency, DSTA, in Singapore stated, We envision that robotics would one day become a defender's best friend and be deployed to undertake more risky and complex operations in tough terrains. Robot Service Dogs The 325th Security Forces Squadron at Tenfall U.S. Air Force Base started using them in routine security operations, which has led to a lot of interest in the quadrupedal, uncrewed ground vehicles, QUGVs also known as Robot Dogs, made by Philadelphia-based Ghost Robotics. The four semi-autonomous Vision 60 models that the base runs each have 14 sensors, cutting-edge multi-directional, thermal, and infrared video capabilities, and a three-hour continuous operating time on a single battery. Route checks and anomaly identification are done by the robots on their own. The robot can be deployed for persistent security applications, and it can also be put on a plane for combat operations explains Jiren Parrick, chief executive officer of Ghost Robotics. Both a forward operating base and a mobile operating base can use it. He continues, we have a robot dog with a doghouse, an edge processing on the dog and in the doghouse. Any payload type for any kind of combat operation can be retrofitted onto the dog. Recently, Special Warfare Operations Research Deployment International's remote-controlled pistol was added to the Ghost Robotics Vision 60 for a light robot. The systems used by Ghost Robotics are currently in use by more than 20 national security organizations. But according to Parikh, the main interest is not in autonomous weaponry. The majority of the company's clients use the Vision 60 for mapping, reconnaissance, and detection of chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, and explosive threats. It will predominantly be a special forces item in the US, and by the time they receive official approval, we're talking ears. On our legged robots of today, you won't see any sort of weapon operability. But I believe you will in the future. The Vision 60 has legs, which according to him, is the only way Ghost Robotics differs from any ground, surface, or air uncrewed system with the option of weapon integration. People will adapt, says Parrick, just as they did with the General Atomics Reaper MQ Predator drones conducting operations. It is equipped with a special-purpose unmanned weapon that is managed by a human in the loop and lacks both autonomy and integrated artificial intelligence. The idea was to make a quadruped that could wander around and get soldiers out of close quarters fighting. Boston Dynamics, a different US robotics company, has a stringent policy against turning any of their robots into weapons, including the quadruped spot. The robot can be just as deadly as its weaponized counterpart, if the shot is not launched from the robot's back, but instead aids in locating enemy targets for combat. Last spring, Spot took part in a two-day training exercise for reconnaissance operations with the French military. In an interview, Boston Dynamics Vice President Michael Perry noted that while the corporation needs a greater knowledge of the military use of its technologies, removing people from harm's way is a valid use of the technology. The Command, Control and Communications DSTA is aware of how evolving military practices demand soldiers to traverse a variety of terrain and deal with unorthodox threats.
The agency created a prototype of its command, control and communications C-3 system to give its soldiers the appropriate equipment. To improve military survival rates during urban conflict, the proposal will make use of unmanned ground and air assets for monitoring. In order to explore the potential applications of quadrupedal robots in the field of defense, DSDA has teamed up with Ghost Robotics. Platforms from Ghost Robotics and DSDA's C-3 system will be combined thanks to the agreement. There are no plans to militarize remotely controlled platforms. But the C-3 enables the simultaneous control and observation of numerous unmanned systems and hostile circumstances. Most, like robots, use force sensors, computer vision, and AI-powered computer vision to balance and navigate. On slicks, surfaces, and in other difficult settings, such proprioceptive systems may not be able to analyze information quickly enough. Although the Vision 60 has sensors and vision capabilities, according to Power, it only uses direct motor sensing when navigating challenging terrain. We have very little gearing and a very big motor. We can keep the actuators very transparent at a small scale. He says, to lift high payloads, we don't need to equip the robots with a lot of gearing or a driving train. 2 kilohertz, that is, 2000 instructions per second, is how fast it runs. In other words, the Vision 60's 12 motors detect and correct any slips, pushes or leans at a rate of 2 kilohertz. The majority of living creatures function in a similar manner. With the use of motor sensing, the robotic dog can walk over tall grass, into deep water and up hills of garbage. Global Data estimates that the robot's market will expand from its current value of $45 billion in 2020 to $568 billion in 2030, at a compound annual growth rate of 29%. Over the following 10 years, Global Data predicts that the robotics market will expand in every sector. As innovation in the sector spreads to other sectors, industrial robots will act as a growth driver. Everyone has by this point seen the films of Spot, the robot dog from Boston Dynamics. It is quite astonishing that it can dance as well as walk, run, and hop in two legs. However, it seemed as though we were getting closer to the ultimate goal of having four light drones that could be equipped for battle and take the place of soldiers with each new video the American robotics company released. This is a pretty terrifying concept. Boston Dynamics, however, has banded together with a group of other robotics professionals to beg businesses all throughout the industry to never arm robots with weapons. The companies Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, Anabotics, Unitree, ClearPath, and Open Robotics have all signed to the letter, which was first reported by Axios. Boston Dynamics has previously tested its robot with the NYPD and the French military, so the move is good, if a little unexpected. But according to a report from The Verge, the bots weren't armed in either case. They were instead employed for scouting. The same is true for ClearPath Robotics, which previously employed their robots in a test with the American Army that was conducted without weapons. However, despite these historical ties to the military, robotics companies declare that enough is enough. They now affirm that they will not weaponize our general-purpose advanced mobility robots. These six businesses will review our customers' intended applications to accomplish this in an effort to avoid potential weaponization. The businesses will also look into fresh technological developments that might stop the militarization of their products. However, it is highly unlikely that the action will be sufficient to halt the upcoming military robot onslaught. The American company Ghost Robotics is a notable omission from the letter, according to The Verge. Although this company now produces four-leg robots, it previously concentrated on selling to the military and government. Therefore, while the pledge by arguably one of America's most well-known robotics companies to never arm its creations in a positive step in the right direction, it is by no means a guarantee that armed robots won't be developed in the future. And that's it for today, folks. We sincerely hope you have enjoyed reading about the future of robots in the military. If so, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, AI Evolves, and like the video. To ensure you don't miss any future videos like this one, click the bell button. Until then, 